Hey everybody, it's Charles, your hobby hero, and today we're going to be opening box two of four of our superhero boxes from uh, Boxed Heroes. Uh, if you missed the first video, the link will be up in the top. I highly recommend it. We had some huge pulls, no spoilers in this one. Uh, the grand prize for this box was going to be an amazing fantasy number 15 first appearance of spider-man before we get started though if you haven't already make sure you click that subscribe button down at the bottom i do appreciate it put out weekly content in regards to the hobbies i love the most um and then having said that we're going to jump right into the opening um, again if you missed the first one um, i highly recommend it a lot of information in there about uh the content of what's in these big old boxes um but each one of these uh, except for the grand prize one does have a signed CGC copy in here a lot of Todd McFarlane a lot of Jim Lee a lot of big spec books um, that I was very happy to see in there a lot of the premium books in these boxes also very big spec books um, so very excited the guarantees on these when they went live was $450 in value per box um, and without any spoilers, we have not been disappointed so far with the box that we have opened. Get this one open. That is. There we go. Alright. Alright, some fun little stuff stuffed in here. Some trading cards, New Hyperion. Bone trading cards. Comic book that I used to see all the time in the comic stores. Got a little pin and their contact information where you can follow them for their next box. Little stickers. Oh, there's another pack here of, I think that's Ray Rayetta cards. I don't know. I got two stickers. Don't let them know. I got extra value. So our first box, that is the slab right there. And like I said, every single one of these boxes had a signed slab in it. Lots of free packing materials. We had one box of premium comics. Two boxes of premium comics. comics out of the way there. Now last time we had one of these boxes that was full of uh, keys and uh, alternate covers and first appearances and the other box uh, looked like it was more designed for like a, a reader's box. It had a trade paperback in it and a couple of like mini runs uh, in there. So we'll see if they do the same thing this time. Okay it looks like I got lucky again this time and got the key box first. I'm gonna flip the top book over here without looking. No surprises. I can get them all out without destroying the books. Oh, or maybe this, uh, there's a trade in this one too. So maybe this is the reader one again. All right, first thing up here, I'll show you the trade since I already saw the trade. Uh, Walking Dead, this is volume seven. Very nice copy, does not look like it has been read yet so this is actually a duplicate for me i do have all the walking dead trades highly recommend it if you have not read it yet give me a copy to to loan out now so let's see what our first book of this box is going to be uh, i said if i haven't already put it up there there's a ticker going to be up at the top the box was about 400 dollars after shipping and everything on there and as we pull these boxes uh, our pat or sorry Comics up. We'll put the last recent eBay sold up and we'll deduct that from it to see how we did on the value of these boxes. All right, without further ado, first comic is Wolfpack number 11. Uh, number 11 in a 12 issue limited series. Well, I hope this isn't a whole stack of the series because there's not 12 books here, so I'm gonna have some fillers to have to go get. Uh, book number two is, well, it might be. Wolf plaque. Okay, well, here's 12. Here's 12 in the 12 issue series. So I'm guessing this is our reader pile. Um, here's Wolf Pack number nine. I have to put these in order, apparently. Wolf Pack number seven. 
Okay, wolf pack number eight. Wolf pack ten. Somebody was having a long day at the packing plant there, it looks like. Uh, wolf pack six. Wolf pack four. Let me know in the comment section before below if you've read Wolf Pack before. I have never heard of Wolf Pack. I've been around for a long time. Um, so four, two. I think that leaves us one and three. Here is three. And number one. So we got a full run of Wolf Pack 12 issue miniseries and The Walking Dead. So that means there's only exciting stuff left, folks. Um, not that Wolfpack's not exciting. I think so. I may end up reading that, and it may be my new favorite comic. I'm gonna go out here on a limb and say that's not going to be the case. But now we get into the fun stuff. All right. Oh, uh, there we go. There are the Mylars. Uh, flip around here. Oh, no spoilers. Okay, and they do put little key cards on the back to help identify these if there's any significance to it. So first issue is, oh, is this the 2012 Champions? Avengers vs. X-Men, uh, Ryan Stegman, New York Comic Con 2012 variant. Very nice. Next book up is... Ooh, Captain Marvel. This is the second appearance of Carol Danvers. This is Captain Marvel number one. This is a 12 cent Marvel book. Uh, I mean, it's an awesome book. The it is definitely a low grade copy, uh, but that is a awesome looking cover. Uh, perfect comic to display. Um, and just look at him. That guy is all about some Captain Marvel. All right, what we got here is, oh, <laughs> another one of those books I have been looking to pick up, especially with Let There Be Carnage being spoiled, Amazing Spider-Man 362. Um, just a very awesome cover, and it's a very high-grade copy. Um, I know my brother had picked up a copy of this recently and just riddled with spine ticks because as kids, you know, everybody wanted to read this book, so we read it and tore it up. This book is in immaculate shape, though. Oh, and I already saw what this book is here. Another big book right now. Spider-Man Unlimited. This is the first appearance of Shriek. This is another book I have been picking up since she was spoiled in the trailer that just released. Um, another beautiful book. Um, just a little bit of a spine stress, but doesn't break color. Uh, another awesome spec book right now. This one will probably be getting pressed to go off to CGC. We got here, ooh, Wonder Woman. And this is Wonder Woman number seven. Um, and this is the first appearance of Cheetah. That's a big deal right there. Cheetah is one of her more popular uh, rogues uh, in her rogues gallery. Um, so I'm excited for this book right here. That's awesome cover too, so I can get it up there. A lot of the, well, going the wrong way. A lot of the gods on there, just kind of checking her out in our little Swimming pool looks like in the sky there. Very nice. All right, we've got, oh, another Spider-Gwen. A number one Scotty Young variant. Again, the Spider-Gwen books, uh, again, are getting red hot right now. I think a lot of people are uh, waiting for this end of the Spider-Verse, see if she shows up there, or see if she gets an introduction into the MCU here soon. Um, she's a very popular character. I would imagine that she's either going to be right when Miles Morales comes into the MCU, which is just a matter of time, or be, you know, there right afterwards. All right, so we mentioned this one before, Jupiter's Legacy number one. Each one of the boxes has a cover of this one. This is the variant cover C by Dave Johnson. Uh, and again, this show just released on Netflix. I highly recommend it if you have not watched it. Um, it's a very interesting take on the kind of the Justice League um, or Avengers, whichever kind of comparison you want to make, and kind of a real life setting um, and some of the struggles that they deal with. Very well done. Uh, season one went over well, and I would imagine it's going to be picked up for several seasons past that. So we've got 
High Republic number one. I love this cover. Um, I said we had one of those in the other box as well. Um, a book right now I am very, very high on. Um, and then again, like all the covers for the first one are very good, but any of them have Yoda on there. Um, he's actually a fairly prevalent character throughout the book. Um, so just a nice one to have. Very high grade copy there as well. All right, next one up. Ooh, Red Sonya. And they may not have known it, but my wife is a huge Red Sonya fan. Uh, Marvel Feature presents Red Sonya, She-Devil with a Sword. It doesn't look like it's a specific key, um, but old Marvel uh, Feature book number three on the list. Um, so very nice book. I know my wife will be very excited uh, to see this book in my collection now. And that brings us to our last book before we get to the graded slab, which is Plastic Man. Um, Plastic Man number three. Um, I This is an old book, but oh, 12 cent DC book right there. Very nice uh, early appearance of Plastic Man in his own series. Um, not sure kind of machine gun pistol this guy is shooting out the window here, but uh, Plastic Man's got his priorities straight, trying to save the damsel in distress and avoid the bullets at the same time. Alright. So, with those out of the way, that brings us to the slab. The main event. Try not to drop everything on the ground here. Make sure it's okay. See the back. I already know what this one is, but we can at least cover the grade up here. We've got Venom Lethal Protector. That is a ton of signatures and remarks on this one here. I does he even have everybody? Uh, we got Mark Bagley, Michael Zek, uh, Mary Javens, Richard Starkings. We got four signatures. One, two, three, four. I mean, there's like seven signatures on the front of this and a remark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we have eight signatures. Uh, on this book um, and a remark and the Venom up here we got the Venom custom logo and we've got this guy in uh, looks fairly clean let's see what the grade is 9.8 oh my goodness that many people putting their hands on this book to sign it and it's still got a 9.8 that is a gorgeous gorgeous book another fantastic box I again I said I highly recommend you go watch the first video make sure you hit the notifications bell because we're gonna have box three coming out next um, and I, with the way these boxes are going I just know that there's gonna be some good stuff in that box as well remember we have two more videos that will be coming out that have those boxes in them I mean if you guys got one of these boxes make sure you let me know in the comments below what you guys got in it as well but until next time hobby hero out